I'm not going to do like a Tony Robbins thing on you today. And I'm not going to talk about like how you think about money and how you visualize money and all that sort of thing. I'm going to get a little bit more granular, a little, little more hardcore about uh, how you look at things. Okay. So the first thing that I want you to do um, is I want you to define for yourself what abundance looks like. Okay. So let me explain what I mean by this. So I talked about as a Marine fighter pilot that we're really interested in hitting targets, right? We're, we're like fixated on the idea of hitting the center of a bullseye. So just remember that you in some, some ways are a automatic servo controlled device. Look, I know you have a spirit and a soul and there's a lot more to you than just, than just pure reaction, but you as a human being, act a certain way because of certain things. There's stimulus and response and input, things that happened when you were growing up as a kid, and there's all these different things that are battling inside of you, okay? And so what I'd love to be able to do with you is help you train your like inner machine, kind of like your inner animal just a little bit, to be able to target the things that you absolutely wanna target. And the first thing I want you to do is to define abundance. I was actually talking uh, to someone quite some time ago. And I was, dis I was actually, it wasn't even all that qu quite, quite long ago. And now I think about it. And I was, I was describing some things that I wanted uh, and that I wished that I had. And it was a person that I was kind of sharing some ideas with and I wanted to do this and then I wanted to do this. Uh, and he stopped for a moment. And he goes, you know, what you have is really abundant. And I stopped just for a second. And I realized that for me, abundance was the ability to just go out if I wanted to, to a restaurant or, a, or the, the ability to pay my mortgage the ability to pay the bills for cars, the ability to put my kids uh, through whatever schools or training or camps that they wanted to. I can think back. I mean, I've had financial ups and downs and owed hundreds of thousands of dollars before and been in debt. But all during those times, I always, always had food, you know. Um, in fact, we shop at Whole Foods, so I always had good food. Um, and all during those times, there was always, uh, there wasn't any lack. In other words, I felt lack, but there wasn't. And so for you, the first thing I think that's important for you to do is to define what abundance looks like to you. You have to at least set some kind of just minor target in your head. What is that for you? Is it paying all the bills? Is it being able to be able to go out to a restaurant maybe twice a month at someplace really nice? Is it having a golf membership and being able to pay that? Is it being able to drive a Corvette? Uh, is it being able to just have the nice house on the hill that you want to have? So the first thing I want you to do in your own mind and in your time is define what abundance looks like to you. Because here's the thing, uh, as a business owner or entrepreneur, there's one thing.